President Yoon says he'll stop the misuse of government subsidies and instead those will be used to help recovery efforts in flooded areas. Also for more support, the authorities are speeding up to designate special disaster zones. Our Kim do has the details. President Yoon Suk yeol said Tuesday that he will put a stop to the misuse of government subsidies and use those funds to help with recovery efforts from the recent flooding, emphasizing Disaster relief is a priority for taxpayers' money. Speaking at a cabinet meeting, the president said all available resources will be utilized for a speedy recovery, including through the designation of special disaster zones. 가능한 빠른 시일 내 피해 지역을 특별 재난 지역으로 선포하고 복구 인력, 재난 관련 재원, 예비비 등. Local media outlets have been reporting that the official designations of the heavily damaged regions as special disaster zones are being expedited and could be announced as early as Wednesday. According to the top office's spokesperson, the president said, quote, these are the emergency situations that the government tightened its monetary policies for, so don't hold back and make it feel as if the government is overdoing it. The president also called for the nation's disaster management program to be completely overhauled as extreme weather conditions have become the norm and the current system isn't sufficient enough to prevent and manage potential disasters. 천재지변인이 어쩔 수 없다. 이런 인식은 버려야 됩니다. 평소에도 체계적으로 작동할 수 있는 디지털 모니터링 시스템을 갖춰야 됩니다. 중앙정부와 지방정부가 범정부 차원에서 협업하고 전문가들이 참여해야 됩니다. Adding that the monsoon season is yet to be over, with more heavy rain expected in the next few days, he called on relevant agencies and first responders to continue to be on their toes. In the meantime, for the second day straight, he visited a disaster site, this time in Chungcheongnam-do province, where flooding caused damage to agriculture and livestock. There, he met with soldiers deployed for restoration of the farms while promising those displaced from their homes that, quote, a lot of the budget will be injected. Kim Dol, Arirang News.